here with presets and actions by Jessica G photography and I'm recording the video because um, so many uh, I got so many questions about the one-click color action and the brush so I thought I would do just a short video on how to use that and so here I have um, this is my baby butter um, collection and then this starting from here to down here to the purple is the finishing touch actions collection so you'll there's you know skin retouching uh, skin tones uh, background hazes pretty much everything you'll need so uh, and then with with the uh, one click color um, it doesn't always work uh, because it depends on the background color so if the background color is like too similar to the baby's skin for example uh, then it might not work that that well um, so it might be like a different process especially with whites um, it's better to go like use the brush color change then use one of the hazes and then on top another haze so kind of like layering uh, but anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and um, do the oh I clicked the wrong one Boy. let's delete that uh, one click background haze So actually, <laughs> I clicked the wrong one again. One click color change. Sorry guys. Okay. Um, so you should get this little panel here um, showing the hue, satur saturation, and lightness. And that's like a quick before and after. Uh, and then because it's only the background, then if you want to do the wrap too, then uh, you're going to have to brush. So I guess one quick way of doing this is brushing everywhere. I'm gonna hide that layer, go to the background, and go to the quick select tool here. Let's go with this one. I'm just gonna select around baby's face and the teddy bear. I don't wanna change the teddy bear. Um, and then another cool trick with this is you can do a right click and do select and mask. And then what you're going to do is just um, make sure this one is selected, refine edge, I think, and you're going to brush off what you don't want. So like these little areas here, we don't want that in the selection. And we, you could go through like hairs with this. Just makes it a little bit easier. Make sure we got a good selection there. That's pretty good. And then I'm going to go back to the layer mask here and show it now. And then I'm just going to press delete on the keyboard and then command D to deselect. So um, there might be areas still that are little need to be brushed back. So I'm going to do that with a small brush. And this is probably like the time consuming part is the little refining the the edges and all that but once you've done it then it's very easy to just change so quick before and after and then you select here select this one here that little panel um next to the layer mask and this is where you're going to change colors and this is the cool part Whee! <laughs> so you can make um, a lot of colors so it works a lot better on neutrals uh, just keep that in mind. Um, if you're using it on peach, it's probably not going to work that well. Then after you select the color that you want to use, say we go with blue, uh, then you can adjust the saturation, make it like more desaturated or more saturated, and then increase or decrease the, the brightness. Um, now another thing um, that I would probably do is like use um, one of the background hazes. So I think I'm gonna leave it there. And then what I might do to make it more realistic is brush the handle of the bucket. Oh, actually, mm, let's do a 50% opacity on the list. Oh no. Let's do 20%. This is 
something very subtle, but it brings a little bit of that metallic. It's not looking how I want it. Let's go tempered. Just need a hint of it. There's too much yellow on the first one. And then what I'm gonna do is like 50, actually maybe 20%. I'm gonna make it what the brush white and I'm gonna go over the edges. If you can see, there's still like hints of yellow. Let's zoom in here. So I wanna, with a low brush opacity, kind of blend the tones there a little bit. It depends on the background color, but you may or may not need to do this. I'm gonna go 50 here and just apply. Okay, so I'm gonna go up here a little bit in here. I get a little picky. Okay, now what I'm going to do is, um, to save the different ones, I'm going to save it, uh, let's do, I'm going to do a JPEG, and I'm going to save them by color, let's see, blue, maybe, I'm going to bring the saturation down on this one a little bit. This one can be... Mint. Maybe let's do a purple as well. Soft purple. And then we'll just leave the original. So going back to the blue. Oh, that's like a gray. That's kind of cool. All right, because I reduced the opacity there. So let's do a gray one too. Okay, so now let's go back to the blue. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to oh, wait, let's select the right opacity there. I kind of like this one. It's kind of cool. So I'm reducing, I change the hue and then reduce the opacity by a little bit. and the lightness as well. <clears throat> now to make it like a little bit more realistic, I'm gonna use the night and day action. And I'm gonna brush with the night over like any shadows. I'm gonna make that. So I wanna make it look more real, blend in the, the tones. And we don't really need day for this, just mainly night. Maybe 10%? I think that's. I might think I brushed too much there. There we go. So that's just look a little bit more realistic. So before and after. And then the other thing you could do is add your own hay. So you go your haze background. You could do the one click haze. Um, um, the, the brush is also the same by the way. It's just not the one click. You could do one click background haze. 
and we'll double click here and then select one of the greens and then mint green and that's cool too all right okay well thank you for watching let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and i can't wait to see your edits thank you bye